as you swing, again, the same idea. Yeah. Particularly pay attention to uh, the back swing, low flat back swing. Okay. And then in the downswing, uh, you know, take advantage of your long leverage and also go turn this way and then let it continue. Swing and let it continue here. And then the aim the tall T, okay? And if necessary, you can move slightly, gradually, and then start touching the, the white T. Pulled in, pulled in. Uh oh, and then make sure, make sure at the end is, you don't go too loose here. Here, up here. Yeah, so you have to feel the motion of the, the white ball. Your goal is to move this all the way and then nicely slow down to stop here. It's not about throw and then just let it go. You don't, you don't care after what happens. Okay? Yeah. Instead, your goal is to move it all the way here. So this is your goal. So that means you should maintain the control of the white ball here. Go here, then let it go here. Let it go here and let it go. Okay. Extend. But you have to have a good control here. Do not go too loose. If it's loose, then it's hard to find the timing here. Yeah. Because yeah. with this, your body tends to turn faster here. Yeah. Later, it has to catch up. Instead, go up, here, throw down. Nice deceleration and then on the way down, throw the white ball. It's not a body turn but you are throwing the white ball. You can go probably a bit, a bit more backward. Yeah, you can still not touch it. Oops. Sometimes uh, when, when you're too, you know, you pay too much attention to ball impact here, yeah. you cannot use the leverage okay. that you have. And the more you feel your arm is well extended at impact, naturally you'll have more speed. Mm. And then let it go, turn around. Yeah. And then one thing you need to do is uh, you can experiment the distance. Yeah. If uh, you go farther away from the ball, then you have to lean a bit more. If you go closer, then you will uh, have more upright body posture, right? Yeah. But you have to find which one gives the most comfortable and the simple motion here. Then from there, let it go. Let it go. Well, I have a lot of heel misses. So I don't know if that's the distance or... Mm. It should, or so you have, to, you have to control the distance. Yeah. And then when you can extend your arm fairly well at impact, yeah. then you don't have to worry about this distance much. Yeah. Because this is the most you can go. You are at the end of the range, right? Yeah. You can always come in more. Mm. You cannot go further away. So if you don't particularly pull this in, it will yeah. always pass through at that point. Okay. Okay. Do you feel like I think it's too close. Too close. You go. You can go back a little bit. Yeah. So initially, it's okay if you miss that. Yeah. So let's go back a bit more. If you keep missing, then you can slightly move back. Uh, move forward as you swing, okay. but uh, let's uh, start from there and see how it goes. Still, you have tendency of pulling in slightly. Still, you have to let it go. Okay. Mm, now touched. Ah, uh, inward, inside, inside. Yeah, touch. Good. Mm. And then, so with that, you tend to go high and then it's still a bit loose. And then on the way down, you tend to pull. So maintain the tension. Your goal is to move the white ball around. Yeah. It's not about to turn and then bring the hands here. Rather, you're moving the white ball around all the way here. The back swing should be white, white ball motion. So you have to feel the connection, connection between your body and the, the stick, so that you can feel the motion of the white ball. Mm. Does it, should I be in the middle here or are you still 
uh, that should be slightly on the left side because it's a, it's a typical uh, driver swing. Then it will be on the left slightly. So feel, the motion, feel the motion of the white ball all the time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So your swing shouldn't be, the hands, are, hands shouldn't come too close. Yeah. And then quickly spinning. It shouldn't be drop and then going, lifting up high up here. Simply just to turn around the spine axis here. You're letting it go, letting it go, letting it go around the body. Let it go, let it go. That's the, the idea. Okay. That you can simplify the motion. Yeah. So you can yeah. cut down you know, a lot of unnecessary movement. Okay. Again, it's all about just the turning around and then reach out good and throw, extend the arm here, go back here, extend the arm and then let it go. So the arm action is always later. The, the first, the, the, the one that the, starts the motion first is the body. Okay. So by using the body, mm, so there you can extend here. Okay. Okay. So it's not intentionally doing this or intentionally yeah. turning this here. By turning the body and then you are extending here. Yeah. Turn the body and let it go. Okay. And the, this side is just continua continuation of the dancing motion, right? You don't introduce any <laughs> new motion on this side. Okay. Just let it go, let it go, let it continue here. Okay. Yeah, the motion now is a, a lot, it looks a lot easier. Yeah. And then you are using full leverage here. Now let's try this. On the way down, instead of uh, going through, mm -hmm. try to stop here. Okay. Stop. Hit it? But because of the momentum, it, uh, may, it may hit the rope, but um, yeah. Just to try to stop on the way down. Again. Let's just stop it a bit earlier, see how it goes, yeah. So in order to, uh, let's, let's do this, let me demo, demo this. So, ah. okay. stop about here, see, okay. see if, um, so you have to uh, stop a bit, uh, earlier, right? Yeah. So in order to stop earlier, you have to start the deceleration earlier. Yeah. That means the acceleration should be finished way earlier. Then you start deceleration. So that will allow, actually, you know, the main thing here is the deceleration, but actually it will promote early acceleration. Okay. Early acceleration and then deceleration here. Uh, but normally, a lot of people try to put a lot of effort on this side here. I see. So then the acceleration is not that uh, good. The initial acceleration is not good. So, well. <laughs> Mm. Uh, if you can do this, that means you have uh, early acceleration, then already deceleration started, and then try to stop it, right? Okay. Yeah. So sometimes, sometimes you can do this. <coughs> yeah. 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 Mm hmm. Now, let's do this. So uh, let's go several times here, maybe three times, go up here. <coughs> yeah, and then the last one, after three, then the last one, let it go. You see, when you start the acceleration earlier, the wish sound is very different. Yeah. And then, basically, you can uh, accelerate enough here. Using the speed, you're hitting the ball instead of exaggerated body motion here. 
again. That should be rhythmic. <coughs> it, it, always it's a rhythm. It's all about rhythm. Okay? Okay. So using your body, you have to control the acceleration, deceleration. And that means that you have to use the legs. So it's all about, corpse swing is all about rhythm. So whatever promotes what you want, right? Yeah. It will just uh, help. So if you want to activate er the acceleration early, then <coughs> so instead of um, the reason why you are pulling in quite a bit is because you still have a lot of action on this side here. Mm -hmm. It's too late, and then <coughs> this doesn't make much sense yeah. because it should be just continuous in this motion here. You develop good speed and they hit the ball, and then just continue the motion and finish here instead of. Then this active action pulls the club head in. Yeah, yeah. Then you miss the ball. Yeah. Yeah, the, when the, the club goes inward, you lose the ball, then it goes this way. Yeah. Or it's, you just pull it. Right? So again, develop that rhythm. The rhythmic motion should come from the leg action. Okay. Mm. Now let's do this. So start from the trigger motion. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, the back swing is uh, too, too flat. Already it's too flat. And also you have to have a good control here. To, do not lose the tension here. Don't go too loose. Yeah, remember which direction you have to throw the club. And now let's make the swing plane a bit uh, flatter. So step, step back a little bit. It's, I think it's too far. Yeah, so stay in the middle. And still aim the, the, the torti. It's a, a bit too big here. You have to cut it a bit shorter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you start and stop, you start and stop. That activates the early, uh, that promotes the early activation of the muscles in the downstream. Mm. This time when you do this, the clip head actually went down. Instead, it has to go this way. Uh, it needs to go that way, not down. Yeah, so because uh, if, it goes like this, then you're already dropping this here. Go up here. Ah, <coughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is the plane. The plane. Here. Yeah. So in all these things, you have to pay attention to the swing plane. Okay. So you have to have a purposeful uh, practice here. So make sure in the back swing you don't go too flat. In order to uh, not to go too flat, you can use the trigger motion here. If the trigger motion follows the swing plane here, yeah. and then you have a continuous motion here, you cannot go this way. But if this goes a bit higher here, then it goes lower here. I see. So the trigger motion should, should follow the swing plane. Yeah, 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 like that. Right. And then from there, in one motion, bring it, bring it back here. Okay. Yeah, then it's a simpler. Yeah. Because in this motion, in piston motion here, still is moving along the same plane. Now, make it, make it a bit more rigorous here, then, so you have to cut it short here. So do not even come down here, just here. <clears throat> just using the body. <clears throat> At this time, the curly head was dropped. Yeah, that size is good, that size is good, but the curly head was dropped. Again, dropped, <laughs> because your back swing is a bit flat. So, so go, this is a variation of stage three of the two-step swing. Okay. So, 
So this kind of practice will also help you to uh, activate your muscles early yeah. in the downswing, particularly the big body muscles. Then you can develop good speed here. Using the speed, let it go instead of try to pull it in. Generally, I see the tendency of a lot of people now putting a lot of effort in the follow through, yeah. which is too late. That causes impact issues. So this is a good way to activate the muscles early in the downstream. Yeah. That's better, that's better. Then in the downswing, you don't have, in the follow through, you don't have that much, uh, you know, excessive motion here. Okay. Now swing back and forth continuously again. And then in the middle of that, introduce this, this, and then swing. Okay. And then keep swinging and then mm, 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 swing. Okay. So you can mix all this the way you want. The wish sound is now, the wish sound is, is a lot higher. Yeah. It's because you're generating more speed here. For your body size, yeah. the 8 iron should go at least, what, uh, 170 yards, 180 yards, yeah. up to 190 yards. I think we got 193 last time. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so that should be your, yeah. your consistent distance. But the, today, that was uh, all over. Yeah. And the driver. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, particularly when you lose the the tension in the wrist too much mm. at the top here, yeah. Then always it's easy to turn the body, and that this is too late, and then you tend to also bring this down quite a bit, going this way here. So, yeah, right. go really flat here. Yeah. But now you have this plane here. No matter what. You are extending your arm here, yeah. so it's always uh, pretty much passing through the same point here. So all you need to pay attention is just to keep good, wind up here, and swing through. Wind up and swing through. Wind up and swing through. Mm, mm, swing through. Sometimes I just said releasing the right arm, and then in the follow through, just using the left arm, that also can give you a good feel of uh, the follow through motion. Okay. Okay. So again, okay. swing continuously and then try to uh, activate the muscles early in the downswing. Yes, now, after, after that action, the wish sound was higher. Yeah, it's much higher. Yeah, because with this, you activate the muscle early yeah. and maintain that, that's why. Yeah, now it's a faster, motion is faster, and then you don't have exaggerated follow through motion. But that way you can fully use uh, your size. Yeah. Okay, so this is the idea. Okay. And then again, let's go to the rope swing. Oh, last time, so you didn't, you didn't get the rope. No. <laughs> <laughs> 